been a heck of a day here for us in College Park, Maryland. Falls to Hopkins in the nightcap. The women beat Hopkins, and we saw the spring football game today. I'm Wayne Viner. This is Mason A. Viner. Bruce Posner here on the Big Dog Post Game Show. I only have one thing to say about next Thursday. You know what that is? Ruff, ruff. It's going to be rough, rough on. We're going to be back on, on Hopkins. I'll give Hopkins all the credit in the world. They beat our pants off today. It's that simple. They beat us in every phase of the game. We were sloppy. Uh, they defended well. They scored easily. They won the faceoffs. They won the ground balls. We gave up 16 goals. Gave up 16 goals. And most important of all, we only took 21 shots. And they had 43. And that's the end of the game right there. Okay. The turnovers. And like Mason said, some of the faceoffs that we won... We didn't really win because they stripped us right away or we made some stupid play. Right, we made more stupid plays today than maybe in the whole season combined. A couple too many turnovers for the lacrosse team. Maryland comes in number two. Hopkins had a win. You are watching the Jacklitch Law Group postgame show here at Maryland Stadium. Mason, you're our resident goalie, the only guy here playing lacrosse at the moment. I'm going to let you and Bruce take this the rest of the way, and we will see you on the radio on Wednesday night on Turp Talk on 1300 CBS Sports Radio. We'll be af back after this word from Mason on the Young Terps, and then you guys will take it away from there. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com. The number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Mason, talk about Danny Dolan, about the kind of game he had today. He did have uh, 13 saves, gave up 16 goals. That's really not too bad of a percentage. But else. No, no, it's not. Um, obviously, you could see by his reactions there were some that he wanted back. It's just when you're in the goal and you're in a game like this where it's so important, you never stop playing. There's never, there's never a moment where you're ready to – give up but the team just wasn't helping him you look at the face-offs that they had where they're being stripped away and there were times where they were playing a good well like a good i'll give them a good high school jv team they were throwing the ball away throwing it over guys heads dropping the ball on the ground not backing up shots the simple things that you expect out of a john tillman lacrosse team that they just weren't doing it i actually believe were the difference in this game you know i'm sitting here thinking when was the last time one long pole scored twice against Maryland? And to be honest with you, Dolan had no chance on the shots. He was firing up shots point blank from, what, 15 feet? It was, yeah. it was insane. Uh, that's not, that shot can't be stopped. How did this happen? I don't understand. Maryland was in a malaise today. And despite what Coach Pet Petromalo said, I believe Hopkins played desperate. They weren't even happy at halftime when they were winning by three goals. What the heck? They weren't happy when they won the trophy. When I say they weren't happy, you didn't see the smiles on their face. They weren't jubilant because they know the task ahead. They got to do it again. They have to beat Maryland again next Thursday. It's not going to be easy to beat a team twice in a row. He knows that. Yeah. But, but they got the key one. It's the first one. Mm -hmm. All right. And they probably, I think... If they beat Maryland again on Thursday, they don't even have to win the conference tournament. I think that those two wins will uh, catapult them into the tournament and probably knock Maryland out of a home game. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the Big Dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. Maybe, I don't really think it will. When you look at what Hopkins did, when from the point that they were down five to one, which let's be honest, we both thought that Maryland had them beat. Nah. They, were gonna, they were gonna make a run. What did I say to you? I said, it, it, don't don't be swayed by this. Maryland came out. There were 12,400 people here. What a great crowd. They were pumped up. Bubba came out on fire. That's something we have to talk about. Is it time? And this is no offense to Dubik. Is it time to have Bubba and Dubik switch to get Dubik back on the midfield and bring Bubba down on attack? I don't know. You see, the way I see that, 
from a completely from a lacrosse perspective is right. either Dubik is playing attack or he is not playing. He is not a midfielder. He's a small guy. He's played attack his whole life. Right. It's just, I'm not saying not playing him. I know. I, but I, I'm I, saying I get you, what you're saying. You've got to get Bobby in the lineup more. The problem that Maryland, I believe, with the attack is that they're facing is I don't personally think Bernhardt is a real attack man. I think oh, Wisnowski I disagree. Is, I disagree. I think that he is a versatile player. I think he's I think he's their best player. Or second best. He's definitely up there. But they don't have that Dylan Maltz or that Colin Heacock, a guy that's a real true attackman that just does it all. They just don't have that same guy that they've relied on so much. I mean, I'm if you look at last I, year. Listen, I love you. I would disagree with you a thousand percent. Ber, Bernhardt is up for the Tour Tunnel Award. I think he's played fantastic. No, he did not have a great game last night. He got a couple goals th- today. I just think that the whole offense. You always can't. You can't always judge a team when they play bad, when they have a bad game, and they lose. You're never as bad as you are when you lose, and you're probably never as good as you are when you win like this. So it's just an aberration. They'll be back Thursday night, and if they're a good team. If they've got it, if they've got the medal to go a long way, we'll find out Thursday night. 100% agree. Right. I think that regardless, I think that you're in for a great game on Thursday. I think both of these teams, especially by just the look of those Hopkins guys in and Coach Petromala in the postgame presser. They didn't even look they, like they won. No, they didn't. They actually thought they looked like they lost. There yeah. wasn't a smile to be seen. No, it wasn't, um, and uh, they know what's and ahead. And just by the look in Curtis Corley's face when someone asked him about what What's going to happen Thursday, yeah. But you know what? A lot of that's, you know, the game decides itself. But, uh, look, Maryland beat Hopkins last year at Hopkins. A week later, they played in the Big Ten tournament, and Hopkins beat the heck out of Maryland. So you don't know how it's going to go when well, you have two great teams playing. But uh, Hopkins got a top-five win this week. It's going to move them up until like number 12 or 13 in the country, and they're on the cusp, all right, of being in the tournament. It's that simple. They are just about there, and deservingly so if they win next week against Maryland. And uh, yeah, boy, that's that's that's, that's a, a wrap tall task. From, uh, that's a tall task. I think that's going to wrap it up from an all-day affair at Maryland Stadium. We want to thank the big dog himself. Uh, Rick Jacklich and the Big Dog uh, Law Firm, and nobody better to see than Rick. And we'd like to thank our other sponsors, Viner Four Gates in Rockville, Meyer Consulting Engineers, and NPS Nonprofit Services. And that's going to do it from a great day at Maryland Stadium. i got to get home and go to bed, I tell you. I am beat. I am one beat guy. It was a fun day. Did not end great, but that's life. The Maryland women, we have to mention, You know, Juan won the Big Ten regular season title, are still undefeated. And to me, I said it day one, they will be the national champions. Deep in my heart, I believe that this team is too senior laden, and uh, they prove it every time they play. And Kaylee Hartshorn and this Erica Evans is playing great, and Caroline Steele, and uh, it doesn't end with this team. Julie Brague, they're so deep. And their goalie is great. Megan Taylor, I think is her name. They are going to be a tough out for anybody. Mason, it was a lot of fun today. And uh, season's not over. Hopefully we'll be back in two weeks here for a home game. Yeah, and 12 hours later, good night from Maryland Stadium. All righty.